Good to see you all. Um, it's been a little while. So much I have to say. Uh, I'm going to keep some personal stuff out of it. Some life changes have happened. I'm okay. For now. I'm alright. I love you all and I thank you. For all your kind messages. For everything. Your unconditional love touches my heart. And I can't thank you enough for that. Recently, in the last <laughs> three weeks, life has been difficult, particularly for me. I won't get into it now. Um, you'll be filled in later on. Those of you who know, you know. Um, Let's not talk about that. Um, within the last week, I've lost two dear friends of mine. Um, they say terrible things come in threes. I, I don't want a third because these two, it hurts. All of us took a blow. And it was a hard one. Either or, both people. Before I say anything, I want to say that I'm thinking about Sarah, who's also a dear friend of mine, who lost her best friend. Um, I didn't know Stacy as well as she did. Uh, I knew Stacy well. I've known her since high school. Um, Stacy was always sweet to me. Uh, we always picked up wherever we left off. I'm gonna miss her. Always talked on Facebook. You know, she's busy with four boys. She was one hell of a woman. So sweet. Rough around the edges, you know. She's been through what she's been through. But she made it. She, she's tough. I don't like to use the word was. It is. She was always sweet to me. She was always very kind, very loving. Apparently she thought really highly of me. I, I don't know why. <laughs> um, we've been f friends throughout the years. See each other, great big squeezes, you know. Again, catch up where you leave off. Uh, that one's tough. That one's tough. Rest in love, Stace. Trying not to. <laughs> Life's been hell for me. I'll be honest. Where have I been? I've I've been. Um. I'm okay. I promise you. I won't let nothing happen to me. Um. But thank you for all being concerned wishing me well and sending me really kind messages and giving me hugs, you know, when you see me in person. That means the world to me right now, especially now. But it's not about me, but I'm okay. I promise you. Um, second person I want to talk about is, it's really hard for me. Um, I'm trying, trying not to. Um, very dear friend of mine. Um, there's so much I can say about Robert, about Robbie, that's what I call him. We always talk music. We'd share glasses of beer together. Sit at our favorite watering hole. Shout out to all you guys. It's a loss for you too, and, and girls. Um, I love you all. Um, this one's a tough one to swallow, too. Uh, I just found out, uh, oof, I'm sorry, guys and dolls, I'm trying, okay. Um, I just found out myself, and, um, it hurts. Uh, 
the world just lost a bright soul. Everybody keeps talking about what a bright soul that Robbie is. And same thing with Stacy. And um, he lost his battle with cancer. And uh, <laughs> something in the back of my mind always told me he's going to pull through this because he's a warrior and always had something awesome to share always had kind words always told me he loved me same with Stace guess I can say more about Robert because I've known him for so long that um Jeez, I met him years ago. I used to work with him at a place called Connect, which is a place I don't want to remember. Call center, my one and only. Um, he was always a happy person. He was always a, um, a bright, a bright soul. Nothing else could be said, just a bright soul. And um, But he was more than that. He was, he was a dear friend of mine. And we talk wrestling, you know. We talk music, of course. He used to come out to shows that I've played or we've played. I always called him my advocate, kind of the Paul Heyman to my Brock Lesnar, if you will. Um, always putting me over, always saying the kindest things to everybody about me and even to me. He never had to. I really care for them both. Um, it's uh, it's heartbreaking, you know. My poor heart's already broken, you know. Um, sorry, just give me a second, okay? This is tough, <laughs> all right. Cheers, by the way. Peach Red Bull. What are you gonna do? I've had three hours of sleep. Okay, leave me alone. Um, I want to share with all of you um, just a small, just a small part of a message when I was talking to Robbie not that long ago, um, checking in on him while he's in the hospital. I want to share this with you. This speaks volumes to the kind of man that he is. This speaks volumes to his heart, to his purity. You don't meet too many good souls like that in life. You don't meet very seldom any at all. Um, let me share this with you. This is on Facebook. I won't read the whole thing because it's, it's personal, but before I do, Robbie recently went back to church and uh, found his peace. Always asking me advice on, because he, he attended the same church that I go to when I, when I, when I can make it. Um, asked me advice on who to get to know. Um, scripture. Um, he took the Alpha course, which I was proud of him for. And uh, he always wanted to share spiritual things with me. And I him, and we talked. We always talked. We could talk each other's ear off. Um, This shows you the good soul that he is. Let me let me read this for you. Um, we had a conversation. Sorry, man. We had a conversation about him being in the hospital, and doctors, and et cetera, et cetera. 
So we had that conversation. I'll read you this part, okay? Um, he said, I'm going to fight this as hard as I can, as you know. He said, God bless you too. And me and my family are so appreciative of how wonderful you've been to me through all of this. And I wrote back, just give me a second. I said, no need to thank me, but you're always more than quite welcome. I'm praying for you, and it's not just me saying I'll pray for you. I actually am. I was called Warrior. Chin up, Warrior. And then I sent him a, a gif of the ultimate warrior. And I said, you don't need me to tell you, but you got this. Damn right he did. He does. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm a mess, but hey, what are you going to do? I have a heart. Um, he, uh, always made it a point to get a hold of me. Excuse me. And, uh, check in on me, even though he's the one in need. Um, I love you, man. Um, I know you're with God. And I will see you someday. I just hope you don't mind. It's not anytime soon. <laughs> I still have a lot of work to do. Um, you're a brother. And um, I wish nothing but the very best for you and your family during this time and everybody that knew you you know it's not just me you you touch the lives of so many people and same thing with you Stacy I love you girl I'm so sorry um, if anybody needs anything get a hold of me okay you all know me I'm never far and I'll always make some time, okay? This is, this is a tough one. Both very tough. Sarah, I love you. I'm sorry for your loss. And I'm sorry for her family. And for her boys. And... I just want you all to know that I'm wishing you all well, okay? I'm sorry I'm all like this, but I'm honest. I have feelings. I'm an emotional mess. <laughs> God bless you, Robbie. I want you both you, Stace, and you, Robbie. I want you both to know how much you're loved and appreciated respected and they'll never forget either either one of us that's a promise and to those of you who are going through this rough time as well I love you too and I'm not far if you need anything Facebook me send me a message I'll give you the, the phone number and if not, since I can't mention where I work, but come see me. Okay? Y'all know where I'm at. Alright? Um, everybody keep your chin up. Okay? And uh, just know that I care very deeply. For you all. Thank you, in turn, for caring about me. You never had to. And neither did they. That's all I have for now. When I can explain everything, I will. There's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. 
but I wanted to take the time to address two friends of mine who were my family, are, because my friends are my family. But once again, if you're going through a rough time, I'm sorry, but I'm here. I give good hugs, because Lord knows I need them now. I'll check in soon, I promise. No more of this two month in between stuff. I just have to figure some stuff out first. That's a promise. God bless you all. Stay safe and get a hold of me. Even just to say hi. Talking with loved ones is what we need right now. Rest in love, the both of you. It's not goodbye. It's just till we meet again. Cheers. Sorry I'm a mess, but I had to say something, right? I don't have anything to hide. It is what it is. I'm okay. I will be okay. That's also a promise. But thank you, everybody, for being so kind and loving. I wish you all the best. Come see me, okay? Send me a message. Call me. Ain't nobody here but me. I love you all. Thank you. I'll miss you both. Bye for now.